But I forewarn you, if you die without Jesus Christ, in hell you will not find us. In hell will be darkness and thick clouds and darkness and gloominess. There's going to be a day of wrath, a day of, day of trouble and distress in hell. But Jesus went to the cross for you and died for you for your sin. So you will not go to that darkness of hellfire. Hell is everlasting. Is that everlasting fire? Please do not go to hell sinners. It is unnecessary to go to that place. There will be reaping and gnashing of teeth, wailing. Ah, ah, oh, hear me out. Help. Okay, Lord, I, I believe you. It'll be too late. It'll be too late, folks. So it'll be reaping and gnashing of teeth in hell. Hell is more like a furnace of fire. A furnace, you know what the furnace is? A burning, constantly burning. And it's, it's terrible, you don't want to go there. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father but by me, only to do Jesus Christ. He's not there to be religious. He's not a he's not an idol or some makeup. He is true God, fully God, fully man. While he was in heaven with his Father and the Spirit, he left glory, came down to lay down his glory when he's on earth. He was wrapped in flesh, born in the Virgin Mary, in the manger. Live a perfect life, never sin. Then he went to the cross shed his precious blood. We have redemption through his blood. Get right with God, man, sir. Stop that abomination. It's, a, it's an abomination. You guys follow up over Obama. Wicked. Making the children be that way. So turn to Jesus Christ. Hell is a burning place. You don't want to go there. God's hand is still stretching out for you. Even though you hate him and put in all that kind of stuff, evil against him. But his hand still stretches out for you. To save you. To call you to repentance. In faith in Jesus Christ. Faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus still offering salvation for you because Jesus is salvation. God command his love toward you while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So wash your hands, sinners. When you draw nigh, draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. So wash your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. So today, if you hear the word, repent, turn away. Because he knows every man's heart. Remember, he doesn't look in the, in the outward man. He looked the inward man. And he knows all things about you. And, it's, and you ought to fear God. Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come who made heaven and earth to see the fountains of water. Worship him. You ought to know Jesus Christ. He died for you on the cross, Jesus, to escape from the lake of fire. Jesus don't want you to go to that lake of fire. Because he said, if, you're, if your name is not in the book of life, you'll be cast in the lake of fire. There is no escape. No escape 
maintain the length of fire. So he commanded all men everywhere, being mankind, both man and woman, to repent and be converted. So your sins will be blotted out. Sin destroys, for the rages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this comes the judgment. Think of that, folks. If you die in your sin, that's the judgment you deserve in the furnace of fire. But God has given us a way to escape of the lake of fire that His Son, Jesus Christ, came into the world to save sinners. Because I don't want you reaping and gnashing your teeth and wailing for 24 hours a day. There's no rest in hell. There's no light in hell. Even though you feel the pain of fire, there'll be darkness and gloominess, thick clouds and darkness. It's going to be a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wastedness and desolation. Mighty men will cry there bitterly. So that great day of the Lord will come. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. It is hasty greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Mighty men will cry. Mighty men will cry there bitterly. A day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. People, God is still in the business to save you. He paid it on the cross of Calvary. For all who call on the name of Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. And walk holiness. Without holiness, no man can see the Lord. Thank you for what you do. God bless you. God bless you. Are you saved? Doesn't look like it. Repent and trust Jesus today. Cry out to God. Fall on your knees and cry. Say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord, save me. Save me, Lord. He wants to hear the cries of the heart of man and woman to get saved today. Look on to Jesus Christ. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, the spice of the shame, is sit down at the right hand of the throne of God. And today, God is calling all people today to get saved. want to get saved today, get right. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So we call you all to, to turn to Jesus Christ, live holy life. Go ahead. Hey, good afternoon, neighbors. We're just out here sharing the good news. Warn you in love. Judgment day is coming. Please get right with God. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. He that believes is not condemned, but he that believes is not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and that men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved, that they are manifest, that they are wrought in God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that there is no one righteous, no, not one. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves, with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor liars, nor drunkards, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such for some of you, that you are washed, you are sanctified, purified, justified, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and by the Spirit of our God. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Then unless he is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ today, friends. Today is the day of salvation and tomorrow is not promise. One day you and I, will, we're gonna, when we breathe our last breath, we're going to have to give. We're all going to have to give an account and stand before God on the day of judgment. Put your faith and trust in the Lord, friends. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own. Oh, my friends, we're living in the days of Noah, where they're eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage. And so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man, as all things still continue, the Bible says. We're living in the days where good has become evil and evil has become good. And it's wickedness and it's perversion who's infiltrated the classrooms of the, of the children. And like four days ago, there's a... There's a a, a mother that, uh, that was outraged that one of the, the teachers somehow deceived and manipulated the student that she was a transgender and it's all this transgenderism and LGBTQ whoism that it, it is an abomination unto God that a man lies down with man and woman with woman it is an abomination unto God so we're here to let you know friends and please get right with God we all preaching God's laws every single one of us and the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I have sinned, you have sinned, you have sinned, you have sinned, we have all sinned. We've all broken God's laws. That's why God had to send a Savior, His one and only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. If you're hearing this now, friends, harden not your hearts, but repent and believe in the gospel. Today's the day of salvation and tomorrow's not promised. That at the name of Jesus Christ, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the one who is, who was, and is to come. He is the Lord of lords. Jesus is the great I Am, Emmanuel, which is interpreted, God with us. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abuses with themselves. Nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves, nor mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor liars, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such are some of you, that you are washed, you are sanctified, purified, justified, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and by the Spirit of, of our God. Friends, we are here to let you know in love. We love you enough to tell you the truth, to point you to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said that if you love me, keep my commandments, that you walk in, that this is love, that you walk in my commandments. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Because your faith and trust in God, friends. We're out here to warn you in love to get right with God. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming, friends. Please get right with God. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we 
persuade men. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That if my people who are called by my name shall help with themselves, pray and seek my peace and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive them of their sin and will do the land. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from, from the presence of the Lord. Love is patience, love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not parade itself. God opposes the power, but he gives grace to the humble. We are here to share both the goodness and the severity of God. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, both the good and the evil. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Don't love the things of the world, friends. Don't love the things of the world. For the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. That if any man love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, for the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. But he that doeth the will of God abides forever. And this world is passing away in the lust thereof. The warnings are going out. This is a love warning message. This is a love warning message to all who come to Hawaii, to all the local people as well. Jesus Christ is coming back to judge this world in righteousness. Please get right with God, because today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promise. Enter ye into the straight gate, for wide abroad is a road that leads to destruction, and many there go in thereat. For straight and narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life, and few be there that find it. Please get right with God, friends. Judgment Day is coming. It is coming. We we'll praise you, Lord. We we'll give you all the honor, all the glory. Jesus Christ is at the center of it all. Jesus Christ is at the center of it all. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. Time to get right with God, friends. Please get right with God. You love me enough to point me to God. Jesus, the way, the truth, the life. Jesus says in the wrath of God. He that has the Son shall see light. But he who has not the Son shall not see light. But the wrath of God abides on him. We're living in the days of Noah, Sodom, and Gomorrah. We're living in the days where good has become evil, and evil has become good. Woe unto them that, that call evil good and good evil. They call bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. God is now commanding all men everywhere to repent. God is now commanding all men everywhere to repent. He has said that I, even I, that if my name be lifted up, that I should draw all men unto me. This could be your last night of what you do, friends. You could be taking your last breath. You go back to your hotel rooms, please pull out the Bible from your drawer. And read for yourselves. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. When you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Go, 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 go. You might not know it. You see like how that girl, that person just almost ran those two people over? The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof, the ways of death. Death is happening every single day. Death is happening every single day and it's creeping at the door. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. Death. God is no respecter of any person. He doesn't favoritism anyone. The Bible says in Hebrews 9, 27, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but then after that comes the judgment. God is, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It does not parade itself. For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, and self-control. Behold, hold the goodness and the severity of God. God is full of love. He's full of compassion and mercy and grace and forgiveness.
forgiveness, but God is also holy and righteous and just. And God is also a consuming fire. He's a consuming fire. So please, friends, get right with God. We are crying out to you, friends, to get right with God. Today is the day of salvation, and tomorrow is not promise. Put your faith and trust in the Lord. Repent. Believe the gospel. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Please, friends, get right with God. We are crying out to you. Get right with God before it's too late. Prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Thank you, Jesus.